Righto, tell you there, chance. We have some leaked benchmarks of the RTX 4080, and I'm going to be comparing it to the RTX 4090 and AMD 7900 XTX. Now, I actually did do a video comparing AMD's claimed benchmarks of the 7900 XTX compared to a 4090. Go check out that video. It sort of worked out that it was around 27 to 30% faster. That was the 4090 over the 7900 XTX. But where does this RTX 4080 fit in? Well, let's find out. Now, the first indicated that it was around 19 20% faster than the 3090 Ti. That would sort of make it sort of 50% slower than the RTX 4090. So that sort of looks good for AMD because the 7900 XTX, according to AMD's benchmarks at least, is only around 30% slower than the RTX 4090. So there's only one way to find out, right? Let's compare these benchmarks of the RTX 4080 compared to the 7900 XTX and 4090. And the 4090 I'm using here is one of the top g rtx 4090s it is the azus tough version i'm going to be running this stock with 13900k at stock sort of speeds i believe the 4080 benchmarks were done with the amd system but whatever this is what i have let's see where the rtx 4080 is going to fit in and i think look just going off what i've seen i think this amd is just going to be killer value so let's do it righto tell you the champs and i'm playing on this rtx 4090 tough top G version here and we're gonna do a bit of RPG love because if you notice when you play this game everybody's running around with those shields right but you can see top left hand corner we can see the FPS and this is 4k ultra settings and AMD can do 137 frames per second no 138 no 139 sorry 139 frames per second that's what AMD claim 4k ultra settings uh, Modern Warfare 2. Now, 99 frames per second is the claimed of the 4080 in the leap benchmarks. Oh no! So we don't know where AMD benchmark it, or we don't know where these leaked benchmarks have been benchmarked as well. But you can see here, 162 frames, and this is all stock. This is a much higher FPS. Oh, I love the RPG in this because of those guys with the shields. Um, much higher FPS than actually the. 7900 XTX at 139 so you can see here uh, maybe 5 frames per second 145 versus 139 went up to 150 before but as we know we don't know where it was tested but it is a good whoa is he blind it is a good uh look 50 frames per second faster than the 3080 can that be true is that benchmark true? It must be, because it's leaked. You know, leaks are always true, but oh, come on, please. Oh, yes, RPG for the win there. Um, yeah, if that's true, that's quite a bit slower than the 4090. And the concerning thing is the actual AMD 7900 XTX is quite a lot faster too. So we'll have to check out these other games here that we're going to test from the leaked benchmarks. But yeah. Looks good for AMD so far in the 4090 tough here. Boom! RPG, baby! For the win! Let's see if I can kill someone with a gun. What do you reckon? 4K, look at it. It's nice and smooth. Buttery, I've actually got a review on this monitor. Whoa! That was so bad, that shooting. Uh, I've actually... <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got to wrap it up, man. <laughs> Actually, um, yeah, I've got a review on this uh, monitor. I'm playing on this 4K monitor, so you might want to check that out. So anyway, let's get into the other benchmarks. All right, so we're playing Red Dead Redemption here, and we're playing 4K Ultra settings. And yeah, so we're looking for 99 frames per second with the RTX 4080, and we're looking at 93 frames per second for the 7900 XTX. So yeah, a bit of a difference between that and the 7900 XTX. The 4080 is faster. But what is the 4090 like? Let's have a look. Um, you can see here it's still 120 frames per second. So you would expect that it's going to be around that, you know, 15 to 20% faster, which seems pretty good when you consider now that the 4080, at least in this benchmark, when compared to Modern Warfare 2, is actually faster than the AMD 7900 XDX. So it's going to go blow for blow, I think, with you know, between NVIDIA and AMD with the, you know, those two cards there because AMD have come out and actually said that the AMD 7900 XDX does compare to a 4080, not a 4090. So I think they're just going to tough, tough it out there. They're going to duke it out. And here you can see 
Well, it looks like the 48 is faster in this game. So it will depend on the game, I think. Right, so we are looking at Tomb Raider 4K higher settings, just like the RTX 40 set, 4080 settings, should I just say. And you can see there, 240 frames per second, telemetry is on the top left-hand corner. You can see I haven't overclocked the, you know, 3900K stock and the GPU stock. And that is the RTX 4090 tough version. And we're aiming for 129 frames per second. It looks like it's going to smash 129 frames per second. The 4090 versus the 4080. The 4080 is 129 frames per second at these same sort of settings here, which is 4K highest. So I think it's going to crush it here. There's going to be a big difference um, if you're talking 129 frames, and you can see how many FPS I'm getting right there. The average is going to be astronomical because it was getting over 200 frames per second before so we'll just see where it sort of fits in here 170 and you can see i've got a lot more i can put into this i can overclock the cpu and i can overclock the gpu as well and we're still pushing 190 stock so i think there's a good at least five sort of ten percent more maybe so let's have a look 129 frames per second versus 187 woof the 4090 crushes it here 